Happy Thursday! Today is Veterans Day, November 11th, and welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. I'm Anna. Thank you all the veterans. And I'm Lily. And if you would now please join us as we stand, face the flag, place our hand over our heart, and honor our country while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us, and you may now be seated. Thank you again to veterans for your service and keeping our country and world a safe place to live. More about this later in our show. We would also like to take the time to recognize the National School Psychology Week. Make sure to thank all of our school psychologists for all that they do to help our mental health. As you know, we have some amazing Sycamore talent and would like to recognize and congratulate the following musicians who were selected as members of the OMEA District 14 Honor Band in January. The seventh graders are Yumi S, Maddie P, Liz R, Maggie C, Rua P, Pat L, Quincy W, Phoebe P, and Aubrey S. And we have even more 8th graders. Allison S, Harry Y, Lindsay Z, Lynn L, Sam B, Emma S, Evelyn S, Sophia C, Julia S, Alex R, Paige V, Thomas S, Colin B, N, and Anna S. Wow, that was a lot of names. Now we have yesterday's survey results. It was a survey asking if you preferred breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Here are the results. Yesterday's riddle was, what are the next three letters in this combination? O, T, T, F, F, S, S. And the answer is E, N, T. Because the pattern is using the first letter of each number, 1 to 10. So the next three numbers would be 8, 9, 10, which means the letters are E, N, T. And the riddle for today is, what comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? The answer will be given during um, Monday's announcements. Uh, now we have a fact of the day. Did you know that there's an island on Japan that you can visit that's inhabited by only friendly bunnies? Really? I want to visit that place. Me too. Next up, birthdays. A very special happy birthday shout out to student Tyler H. and Kevin S. We hope you have a great day celebrating. Also, a special early birthday shout out to Olivia O. Umkar S and Aiden T, as well as staff member Mr. James, who are celebrating all tomorrow, as well as Lakshana S, and Durdanka Han Yu, who are celebrating Saturday. And last but not least, Kyle D, Gracie G, and Mrs. Avis Lee, who are celebrating on Sunday. We hope you all have a great birthday. Now our spectacular and amazing Mr. Harris with the activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. Students, this is a reminder, you need to check your email a couple of times a day here at school. Uh, they'll be doing things like attendance alert. Hey, your mom is here to pick you up for your orthodontist appointment. Um, Non-sports related items. Your mom left your textbook, your dad left your laptop down in the main office. If you don't check your email, you won't know that stuff is here. So students, check your school email, please. Lost and found. If you lost anything, it's probably down on the lost and found in the cafeteria. Ida items from the first quarter will be removed and donated or tossed away, thrown away, next Thursday. That's 11-18. So go down and check Lost and Found today. More valuable items are in the office. So if you lost a phone or a wallet, that's down in the main office. First class store. Last week there was first class store in the wrestling room. So next Friday the 19th, it will be in the cafeteria. Remember, those locations alternate weekly, okay? So they're on a rotation. The news crew is going to do a great job in keeping you informed of this schedule of where the first class ticket store is and on what days. All right. Tonight's the night. Puffs. Sycamore Aves Theater presents Puffs. If you like Harry Potter, this is the play for you. Tonight through Saturday, all shows are 11 o'clock, excuse me, at 7 o'clock, not 11 o'clock, at the Sycamore High School Auditorium. Get your tickets on www.avestheater.org. Girls Soccer, make sure you pick up your sweatshirts from Mr. DeJoy. It's probably the last time you hear that announcement. They are down in Mr. DeJoy's office if you are a girl on the soccer team. Technology Club, you're going to have your first meeting today, today, from 315 to 430 in the Media Center. You need to provide your own transportation home, and if you have questions, contact Mr. Brenner or Mr. Gutermuth. The Google Classroom code right here, SB3QQ75. Check that out for Technology Club. And also, today is Veterans Day. All right, Veterans Day is a day uh, celebrating the United States 
to commemorate all veterans of the United States Armed Forces. Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day to commemorate the end of World War I that ended on November 11, 1918. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as Armistice Day to remind Americans of the millions of soldiers who served in our, for our armed forces to make the world safe for democracy. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill proclaiming November 11th Veterans Day, a day to remember all the men and women who have served in the armed forces. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all the veterans in our building and in our district for your service. It is greatly appreciated. Now, we have a brief video to let you learn more about Veterans Day. I'm out of here. You guys have been great. And remember, you have no school tomorrow due to teacher conferences. Here's that Veterans Day video, and we'll see you on Monday. On Veterans Day, Americans celebrate our military veterans by attending parades and patriotic events. Some veterans give speeches about the heroism of their fellow service people. Many Americans visit war memorials like the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. and the Marine Corps War Memorial in Arlington County, Virginia. One of the most symbolic Veterans Day traditions is the wreath-laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery near Washington, D.C. The Tomb of the Unknowns is the burial place for three unidentified soldiers from World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. Since the identity of each soldier in the tomb is a mystery, the Tomb of the Unknowns is meant to represent all service members who have been killed in action without their remains being identified. In the solemn ceremony, the President of the United States or another high-ranking government official pays respects to members of the armed forces who have died by placing a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The ceremony is attended by spectators, veterans, and leaders from all branches of the United States Armed Forces. Veterans Day is a time to show support and give thanks to former and active members of the United States Armed Forces. Thanks to the contributions of our military veterans, Americans are able to safely enjoy the freedoms and liberties promised by the Constitution. On November 11th, go out and thank a veteran for their service to our country. That is all we have for today. Don't forget to check the SJH Communications Classroom for today's daily survey. Also, we would really appreciate if you filled out the Pledge of Allegiance form on Google Classroom that gives your Flex class an opportunity to be on the daily announcements. We hope everyone has a great weekend. And now that the joke contest is finished, well, we're, we've started judging them. The results will come out soon, but we'll continue using joke entries from students and staff on the announcements. Here's a note. If your joke is mentioned or already has been, that doesn't mean that you didn't win. So don't worry if your joke's been mentioned. You're still in the competition. We hope to have the results by next week. Today's joke is brought to you by Alex D. What did one wall say to the other? I'll meet you at the corner. Oh my. Go, Go A's! And thanks, veterans. Yes, thank you.